in, have a seat. Feel free to have a good look around. There are lots of wonderful surprises in store. Your study desk is the portal that will guide you to many fantastic adventures. Now our journey begins. You did bring your flu powder, didn't you? Yes, we did, but that won't be necessary for me to up with additional scenes. Scenes. Hey there, we're all Red Bots, this is Red Deal, let's play, and this is year two of the Harry Potter uh, disc two programs. As usual, for the first part, I'm as with year one, I'm gonna run I'm gonna use the first part to run through the menus and, and explore before we actually get it into the into the content of the stuff. First off is a The game preview. EA Games challenge everything. So yes, e so yes, much like year one, EA was given the responsibility of make making the game adaptation of the movie. And if you click on one of these six pictures, you'll you'll get a like a showing uh, of that appropriate scene as it is in the game. And now personally, I hate the game adaptations because they because they use a lot of stealth alongside hide all the puzzles stuff. And I'm pretty sure they had accepted it even with the first, even with the game for year one, that it wouldn't be a stealth game. So the stealth mechanics were fairly unrefined. So, yeah. That wouldn't work very well. Anyways, so so now we have the additional scenes. By Here you will find additional scenes that none have laid eyes upon before. Watch now the moments that were never meant for non-magic folk to see. I presume that in the ultimate edition, it's like, like what could be considered Harry Potter special editions. Some of these scenes were inserted. Yeah. You get what I mean? So, which reminds me, I'm. I'm I don't know if the if any reprints of, of Harry Potter films have these kind of deep features on them, or any disc twos that they may have. Nevertheless, the first thing of things has six scenes. You don't need to complete a challenge to unlock all the. Page two has seven. A little bit of eerie John Williams transition. Page three has six again, so that's a total of nineteen scenes to show. Obviously, that's all. That's all not going to be here in the one part. As it is, as it was last time. So, yeah, a bunch of credits. And back here. So, there's also a door to 
Gilderoy Lockhart's classroom. Welcome to the classroom of Gilderoy Lockhart. While you're waiting for the professor, you might want to brush up on your Gilderoy Lockhart knowledge and have a look around. In doing so, we can look at his photo gallery and get a, and get a, get a couple of words from the Mary about this character that Kenneth Branagh plays. Run through a few certificates and a few, a few of the books that his pen that are on that are on the required reading list for the current for the current term at Hogwarts. Now as with year one, there's a bunch of extra credit that you can only access if you have a specific uh, playing software yeah, on your on your P PC that can support like extra DVD ROM extra DVD ROM content. I'll preview the features on is in, 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 a, in, a, in another part, but but behind, behind Hogwarts we have, we have a few more stuff than, as opposed to just a preview of other things. So it has like interviews with J, with J.K. Rowling who wrote the books and Steve Bogus who wrote the Screenplay. We have Dumbledore's office, which shows you how a scene is built, and then a tour of, uh, of the magnificent office itself. Here you can enjoy personal moments with students, professors, and more. Select whom you would like to hear from and listen to what they have to say. So, as he said, this menu is all dedicated to interviewing not filmmakers, but the actors who play, who play the students and professors and others and stuff. So the so the student and the civil so when when you look at students, this, this, you can look at a specific question that they've been asked. Oh, ask, oh, ask. How would you describe your character? Your character? How would? How do you think they've evolved? How have you yourself changed as an actor? What was your favorite scene? What do your friends think of your role? Is making the movie fun? And how does how does the cast get along with themselves with each other? Professors and stuff. Uh, oh. Don't get specific questions asked, and have and then they and have them rotate through some of them. Into, but but it's just that, but it, it's just them. <laughs> and you get Professor Gilderoy Lockhart, played by Kenneth Branagh. Uh, as before, I'll run through the act. I'll run through the characters. I'll run through the actors who play the characters as well. You have, Lucius Malfoy, played by Jason Isaacs. Uh, Professor Sprout, played, I'm pretty sure, by Miriam Margulies. Uh, Molly Weasley. He, I can't recall her actor's name. Uh, Arthur Weasley, played by uh, Mark Williams, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Professor Albus Dumbledore, played, played by the late uh, Richard Harris. Uh, Rubius Hagrid, Robbie Coltrane, uh, Professor Severus Snape, Alan Rickman, uh, Uncle Vernon Dursley, uh, Richard Griffiths, uh, Aunt Petunia Dursley, uh, if it eludes me, uh, Argus Filch, and uh, Professor Minerva McGonagall, uh, Maggie Smith. Anyways, that's all. We also have a gallery of production sketches, much like how there was a book 
Ah, it seems you've found some unusual sketches. Have a look at these drawings. As you will see, they reflect the spirit of Hogwarts and all those who inhabit the grounds, both living and otherwise. Select an image from the gallery wall and use the arrow keys on your remote to advance through the sketches. To return back to the gallery wall, simply press the menu key on your remote. Much like the additional scenes, the gallery is, uh, will have pages and seem to be of some theme. We have Dobby, we have Snake, we have Cornish Pixies, and we have Aragog, and I'm just Uh, we have the Mandrakes, and we have the Forks, the Phoenix. Whose tail feather has just so happened to be the core of Harry and Voldemort's wand. Then we have the Quidditch pitch. Honestly, you have no idea why they would give more design time to the pitch. And they have plenty of sketches to go off of Wasp and Stone. Uh, yeah. We have these, these two, which seem to be of the outside of Hogwarts. And this one, which seems to be of uh, Dumbledore's uh, telescope. We have this one, which is of the Weasley Burrows. We have the snake figures in the Chamber of Secrets. Hagrid? Then the activities are just the only menus within condemn themselves are just are you in are you in or are you out? That is for the Chamber Challenge, the Forbidden Forest Challenge, and the Tour of Di Diagon Alley. Filch in the Portrait Seas. The only one that doesn't seem to follow this is Colin Creamy's Dark Room. I see you've stumbled upon Colin Creevy's Dark Room. Well, while the unofficial photographer of Hogwarts is recovering in the hospital wing, why not have a look around at some of his undeveloped film? Simply rummage through the cabinet and select several photos of your favorite students, professors, places and objects to create your very own wizard gallery. Use the arrow keys and the enter key on your remote to choose the drawer you would like to open. Select the character or object that interests you and then choose your photos from the selection. Select the knob to close the drawer. Or, if you choose the maximum number of photos, your selections will magically transform into an animated montage. If you want to engage your montage with fewer photos, just click on Go when you have enough selections. Or you can also select the Potions bottle for a random selection of images. Just make sure to close all the drawers before you activate your montage. Let's have a go at it. This may be the one thing that I'll demonstrate without it being in a separate part. Uh, we saw in drawer number one, we have pictures of students. And the rules for, for, 
for this, uh, I'm going to grab one picture from each subcategory. So, as you can see, there's a bit of a flash when, when you've chosen it. from the camera at least. So in this in draw number one you have students. Subcategories include those of Draco Malfoy, Harry, Ron and Hermione. We could just randomize the montage with the bottles or just stop not the montage anyway. Hey, as the guy said, but assuming we won't hit the cap by grabbing eight, four or eight more, let's see. Let's see if draw two has anything of interest from the. From pictures of teachers. So we have Dumbledore, and we have Hagrid, one, one or two of these pictures may be from the deleted scene or so, I'll get to that hat in its own part. Then we have a uh, Lockhart and uh, Snake. So yes, there's plenty of space for eight photos. Let's see. Four more by like grab like grabbing some from plate from the places and objects stuff. And it does and unlike the previous stuff, it's not confined to just a specific type of or class of photo. Anyways, one from every, from every category is enough. So, let's see them all in full screen. It's time to see your creation transform. Action! So the one I selected of Malfoy... So a lot of these photos are bigger than than they were than they were shown, but those were that were exactly as they were shown are shown more.
forward more is full screen. So you have all, so when you're finished with it, you can choose to continue your full montage if, finish if you're not finished with it. Start a new one or just straight up hit up exit. Enjoyed and